Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add really cool and colorful icons into WordPress using the Gutenberg editor. We have some examples in front of us here, and this is all possible with the Publish Press Blocks plugin. This is available for free on WordPress.org, and it has tons of different useful features. When it comes to icons, this plugin uses Google's material design icons. There are hundreds and hundreds of these available, and you can use any of them in your WordPress site using the Publish Press Blocks plugin. It allows you to customize the style, the color, the link, the margin, the padding, the background, the border, and much more for each icon. So if you've installed Publish Press Blocks in your site, you'll be able to go to the post screen, click Add New, and you'll be able to use the advanced icon block right away. I'm gonna call this post with icons. And I'll click on the plus icon so I can add a new block. If I scroll down, it's not long before I get to the publish press blocks area and we're going to be using this advanced icon block. If I click it, I get this by default. There are two icons. They're both black with a check mark. I'm going to show you how to customize these icons in all sorts of interesting ways. Let's take a look at the settings on the right side of the page. First, you can choose the number of icons in this particular row. You could start with just one if you wanted, or two, or three, or you could go up as high as nine or even 10. In this case, they're getting wrapped because of the size of the row. Let me go with three for this particular demonstration. You'll see that as I adjust the number, icon one, icon two, and icon three settings appear. If I go up to 10, I end up with 10 different settings for this particular block. Okay, so I'm gonna roll with three. Now you can see the choices for the first icon on the left-hand side. Most importantly, if you click on the icon selection button, you can change the check mark to something else. You can scroll down through hundreds of different icon options, or you can search. Okay, I'm typing in phone, and I have more than a dozen different choices simply for a phone. I'll choose one of these options and click apply. And now we have a new icon in our icon row. In the settings on the right side, I can change the style of the icon. By default, you simply see the icon, but you can change this to stacked, which will add a border around the icon, which you can then fill with a background color. You can also customize the size of the icon in here as well. I'll set it to a round 100. A little further down on the right side, you can change the color of the icon. By default, WordPress is pulling in colors from the theme. This makes it easier to match your icons to your theme style. I'm using the default WordPress theme at the moment, which has a kind of minty background color, which is why those colors are reflected here. But you can click on custom color and choose any color you want. I've got a nice purple color now for my icon. And when it comes to the background color, how about a, a nice light green color? Then when it comes to the border, let me choose a good strong red color and a little further down, I can increase the size of that border as well. I'm getting a really pretty colorful icon here simply to show you how it works. I suspect you may end up choosing a, a more reasonable border size if you use this live on your site. And you can also set a radius as well, which will bend the corners of the border around your icon. Further down the page, you can choose a link that people will go to if they click on your icon. If people click on this icon, 
they're going to be taken to wordpress.org and this area will also act like a regular WordPress link option where if you type in the title of some content on your site, it will auto-complete the option for you. So I'm going to set that to wordpress.org. You can choose to open this in the same window or a new window. And you can also set a title which is useful for accessibility. Okay, phone icon. That's a descriptive title there. And as we go further down, you can set the padding and the margin for your icon. The padding will control the difference between the border and the icon itself. Whereas the margin will control the space between your whole icon and the rest of the page. So I'm adding top margin and it's being pushed further and further down the page. If I add some left margin, it will be pushed further and further over to the right of the page. So that's one example. I'm going to save and publish this and see what it looks like on the front of my site. There we go. We have the icon. And if I click on it, I'm taken to wordpress.org. You've seen one example now of creating an icon and I've taken you through the settings. Let me quickly redesign these other two icons so you can see how quick and easy it is. For the second icon, under icon two settings, I'm going to search for someone who's running. Okay, there we go. I have a running man. I'm not going to set the stacked option. I'm just going to have the icon here. So for this icon, let me choose a, uh, how about a, a bright pink color for the icon? And uh, maybe I'll make it a, a little larger in size. And I'm gonna leave the background blank. For the next icon, for icon three, I want something to do with a TV. Let me see if they have a TV icon. Oh, there we go. That would be a good choice. This time, I am going to choose the stacked option. And how about we do blue for this one? So my custom color for the icon itself can be a dark blue, maybe for the background. I'll choose a lighter blue color. Okay, that's almost blue slash green. Okay, there's a good light blue color. And then when it comes to the border, let me go back to a heavier blue again. And I'll make it a little thicker as well. So we have a more substantial border. But I will soften it a little by rounding out the corners of the icon there. There we go. That adds a definitely a warmer effect. If I click on update, and take a look at the front of the site. It took me all of 10 seconds to add those icons. On the Publish Press demo site, we have lots more examples of what you can do with the advanced icon block in Publish Press. This is just one of over 25 different really cool blocks and effects that you can get on your WordPress site using the Publish Press Blocks plugin. It's completely free to use. Head over to wordpress.org, download, and give it a try today.